Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much, so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, you know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe and insightful to you that you would love to share with another, you know, may do the same or even more, please go ahead and do that. It was greatly appreciated. So um, today I'm actually doing tarot readings. Today I'm on, um, right now I'm on Leo. I just finished the, doing the Capricorn and Gemini and Taurus and Libra. Now I'm on Leo. So this is for the month of May. If it doesn't apply, please let it fly. This is not, um, not everybody is going to resonate with this spread. Um, so, you know, this is just basically a cheat sheet to be able to give you uh, the insight and shed lights on things that needs to take place. So, Leo Universe, what is in store for Leo? What is it that Leo needs to know? What is what Leo needs to know? Mm -mm. Oh, somebody concerned about a marriage because my left, left nostril is up here uh, itching. Who is... Thinking about marriage. Y'all working on your kingdom wives and kingdom husbands. What you doing? <sighs> what are you doing? Because I was like, as soon as I did that, I seen somebody. It was like on their mind like this. And then I seen um, when they say your right side of your nose starts itching. Um, that you're, you're, There's a, a wedding, marriage that somebody's concerned. Okay. Somebody has not been doing their homework. You've been so, your head's in the clouds. They said it's okay to be, you know, imagining, but we need you to get in work, Leo. Get in work. There's so many different things that they're putting in creativity for you. Um, and especially in the last two, you know, 72 hours, I keep hearing that 72, 72, 72, which is completion. And 72 also is um, uh, some unexpected news good news is coming your way so it's like completion you know you've been heavy on your intention you know what you want in your life you've been working on that but there's they're saying there's certain things that they're wanting you to brush up on because there is like a new gift is about to come into full circle a new gift is about to take place that you didn't know about so you have created balance and there I mean shoot these I mean these spreads are starting off really positive well actually all of them are really positive because you know you've been putting in that work there's a lot of them that's coming in work you you allowed yourself to take that balance you know you, you you're allowing yourself to fit everything in your schedule and allowing it to not not have one thing overlap the other and they're they're you know they're really congratulating you about that and the romance you're so fixated on this romance and they're telling you this romance don't worry you remember because when i first started the right no right side of the nostril somebody's thinking about a marriage they're really wanting in their lives they're really like fixated on that and they say you know let that go release it you know it's about to take place for you sooner than you expected just because you're allowing yourself to uh take do and what what's good for your your soul surrender like i said you know romance is in reverse and so is surrender they're telling you to release that you know there's when you release it and let you universe do its work because a lot of times we don't realize when we stay fixated on that and they already say it's natural it's normal we do that especially if there's certain things you want really bad you know things is taken in your life when you release it and surrender it, it is allowing you to know that faith is already within its works and as soon as i said that uh chills came up they're telling you you need to meditate more I, I hear that people are meditating but not enough where you should be whatever you're they're saying whatever your areas is that you're having issues with uh that's where they said that the emo uh the meditation needs to take place in you know um telepath communication um forgiveness uh detached with love you know um forgiveness not just for others but um but as well as ourselves and they're telling uh, a lot uh, which are intuitive they're telling you there's something about Akashic records you have to connect with as well as your spirit guides because your guides are really trying to be in your life 
your spiritual growth. That's what I say. <laughs> spiritual growth. It, you know, is is um, you're not allowing yourself to really see the magic that you truly hold. You know, you we a lot of times we don't give ourselves credit where credit's due, and this is where it comes in at that meditation. Yeah, it's like it's like focused on that you're creating that balance in yourself, and you know the true intention you have, but you're worried. You don't have what it takes, or you fear that it won't come, or you're missing out on something. They're telling you stop doing that. You're not missing out on anything. And the abundance, you know, abundance is trying to come through, but you're worried about what you lack. And they said stop doing that. Because you don't lack anything. You know, these are the chances that, you know, they take away to uh, replace. They said they keep on saying take away to replace. So allow yourself to understand that. Serenity. Everybody needs peace in their life. <laughs> That's why you retreat. Get that serenity. Get yourself in balance. You deserve that for your life. Stop beating yourself up on things where you feel like you should have done. Everything is going the way it needs to be. When you allow yourself to forgive, release, um, accept and move on hey that's all the universe wants you to do while you're light working you're helping others not just yourself you're sharing your story of uh struggle to strength you know and there you're you're somebody's blessing of a cheat sheet to overcome and conquer there are certain things you have conquered that other people are having issues with obtaining you know to heal from and they're telling you you know allow yourself to do that you know you have uh divine powers forgiveness friendship why is everybody getting friendship in reverse we all got toxic tides Ugh. okay you're not going in nature they're telling you you need to go in nature universe speaks to you in so many different ways and it's needing you to do that within your nature you need to do that go outside you know smell the roses you know get that vitamin d there's so many different signs that's coming your way for the next steps that needs to take place. I'm telling you to keep out for the signs. You probably have already been getting them. But you you know, I feel like somebody was all in their head about certain things and they get frustrated because things haven't been moving in the right in the pace that they want them, but they are you don't know what's going on behind the scenes, they say. There's so many beautiful things that's taking place with you. And you know what with, with Leo's, you know, shoot, they got that 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 stubborn Stubborn mind, but a, a brave soul. Miracles is coming in. And so many signs is coming in letting you know miracles is underway. is working out for you. Different things you may be struggling with. And you may say something to the universe and you're really opening your heart to them. And next, you know, boom. Uh, they, they come and help you out in those ways. So they tell you not to worry. But you're not allowing yourself to see the magic you hold. The last three readings I had had that too. You're not the only one seeing the magic within yourself you are a powerful source you are a source to be reckoned with you know what you're listening to everything you know you're listening to the divine and they're proud of you for that but they just want you to release the worry they understand where your concerns at and they and they say that's natural but everything is going exactly the way it's needing to be so they say no worries it's out of your hands that new love is here I was saying that new love is here you don't know it's knocking it, it's going to be knocking because you feel something getting real close to you, Leo. That love of the Leo. You have it coming. Congrats, congrats. And you need that in your life, man. Listen. They say, listen. Listen. You got beautiful things that's coming in. You may hear the song. And I keep on hearing that song. Um, God, dog, by Jodeci. All my life. All my life. I pray for someone like you And I thank God that I, that I finally found you And that's coming in Harmonious You got, I mean that new love about to bring some harmony to your life You're going to be tiptoeing through the tulips And you deserve that You deserve that Leo You really really do it's, It is divine guidance You have been guided towards this This is something that was written in the heavens for y'all This is like heaven sent This is God sent And they're telling you that you have been, uh, You've been divinely guided Celebration when I said that song, it's, it's like that marriage. You've been focusing on that marriage, baby. It's about to happen, but it's going to be bigger than you ever imagined. It's going to not just be a marriage, but there's something else that's coming in. And that merge is really trying to come in. But you worried. You're not seeing the magic within yourself. They're telling you, go out in nature. 
see the signs that's going on. You got miracles that's happening for you every day and don't even realize it. There's been things that's blocked that was supposed to be trying to tear you down but universe has not been allowing that they ain't hearing it they said listen that new love is here don't worry it's going to be in har it's going to be harmonious for you is divinely guided that celebration is taking place that merge had to stop it took a pause everybody getting that pause for the cause it's like that merge had to pause because something else is about to be revealed and what it does is going to go full course full force and they're telling you about that why is everybody getting this daggone child card? You either need to heal your child, your inner child, or you have to see things through child's eyes. You know, um, everything. We, a lot of times we see everything as black and you know, not black and white, but positive, negative, good, bad, dark and light, uh, dark and light. Yeah, dark and light. And they're telling you stop doing that. Everything is experience. Everything is a lesson learned. Everything is a blessing. You know, it's healing your soul. So they're telling you to understand that. Your prayers are being answered and you don't even realize that a lot of times it's like you got so much good that's going on in your life and you still worry. You know, there's a connection. There's so many different things that's coming into your dreams and they're telling you you need to journal that. You know, it's a dream journal. They say dream journal. If you have one, if you have an app, because I think they even have an app on your phone, you can get dream journals on there and you can put that on there. And they're telling you, Archangel Michael, everybody getting this. Archangel Michael just want to connect with everybody. Archangel uh, 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 Michael um, Ariel I keep on hearing Ariel too Somebody is really uh, Somebody in Leo is uh, Ariel is need to be in connected with Archangel And you're needing They're saying that you've been going in a retreat But this is that time for you to go back into that as well You need that again Because this is that, that time where you. Um, hold on just a second y'all Okay, yeah, y'all need to go back and retreat. They're telling you you need to go right back and retreat because there are certain things that may... Um, you Somebody did an initial clearing. You felt like a big jolt, like you felt a shift that took place. And they're telling you you have to go back and retreat because it's like since you did that that huge turnaround and you, you seen what was been sitting there on the surface that you needed to uh, connect with, they're telling you, you know, go back and retreat because you, then you'll find the hidden gems that they're wanting you to uh, really connect with. And that soulmate, don't worry about the soulmate, it's already there, it's already in, um, in rotation, but cook disconnect that friendship whatever friendship you have that is like very toxic like this person is draining or it could be people people that are draining people that are unhealthy because that's where i see the truth and integrity uh i'm hearing the truth and integrity i don't know if i did that with y'all did it happen no truth and integrity is coming up in my mind and they're telling you, you know, go to them about that. If there are certain things that you are really trying to allow yourself to release, universe said they're all ears. They're just waiting for you to ask for that guidance. And they're always there. You know, they help. Even when things are detrimental and they know it's going to endanger your life or endanger your path, they're going to um, automatically jump into that. But there are certain things that they're saying is free will. Because you got so many blessings that are taking place. They see the changes you took place in. They even say that you noticed that. You know, you, you had that willpower that you didn't know you had until, you know, now you're allowing yourself to look back and you see all this had to happen. All this has helped. All this is healed. You know, but they say you need to just get back on your studies. You know, you place your intentions up for whatever you want it into your life and you're making the initial steps to take out whatever is not. But there's still that worry in the back of your mind. They're wanting you to really release and they're telling you this is, you know, this is a small thing to a giant. This is something so small, but yet, you, you know, you're making a mountain out of a molehill and they're telling you not to do that. You know, allow yourself to do that. You know, invest in your power because you have that. Don't worry about the romance because that's already setting the cards for you. You know, there's that, that's nothing that you can change about that. And knowing, um, surrender and release. Anything that you have worries about, anything that, that's taking place that's out of your control. You know, don't try to control timelines. Because everything is going to unfold the way it needs to anyway, regardless of what takes place. But when you go through, allow meditation because it will show you the right steps that you can take for that. Whatever you have issues with, they have meditation for that. So they're telling you to invest in that. You need your, your peace. Don't worry about the abundance because abundance is coming through. You know, don't allow yourself because that worry is stunting your spiritual growth and they say not to do that. And when you go out in nature... You'll start receiving more insight than you, you are now. You think you're receiving some insight now. It's really about to go full-fledged for you. Because they said whatever you did in the last 72 hours, you 
made a big choice and you took that leap and you know I got spiritual chills from saying that you took that big leap and you knew what you had to do and they're so proud of you for that because they're showing you signs of that that they you know this is confirmation of that the miracles are always coming in but believe in the magic within yourself because see uh, the enchantment is in reverse meditation surrender abundance and spiritual uh, spiritual growth with study these are the things that's showing you you know listen to that you know th these are the things that you need to really strongly invest in everything is is working out in in you know in your favor everything has been working out in your favor but that you know that that stagnant energy will make you feel like it's not because that new love is is heading towards your way and when i when i'm hearing it it's like shotgun and when i hear shotgun that means it's like right dead in the target is there you know and when i say that you know it's like new love what do you see you know, the bow and arrow, Cupid. Cupid is like right there, bullseye. And it's going to bring, bring so many harmonious blessings to you. It's divinely guided. That celebration is happening. That celebration of merging is, is coming in. But it's like you have to see everything from a child's eye. Or if you're worried about a certain child that's coming through or you're heavy um, in, um, in a situation with, the, with your children or are trying to have children because I see in marriage so you may be wanting to get married and have children knowing your blessing is going to be answered they're telling you no worries you know you've been getting so many different dreams that they're showing you these things that's about to happen for you but allow um Arch Archangel Michael to help you and I heard Ur Uriel so that one too you know Uriel and Raphael is coming through you know especially strongly Uriel is coming in and they're telling you that you know you need to uh, invoke them go back and retreat because this is something you really need to have for yourself don't be worried about the soulmate you know um there is no need on that soulmate it's it's already in gear you know and you're gonna see that soulmate but for that to happen you know they say you know for this to happen you have to release something else and it's like that toxic friendship whatever that negative person is in your life or negative people you know in your life you know cut ties with them because it's like you know it says soulmate friendship and forgiveness you know when you let them go forgive them for whatever they did to you because they you know the wrong people will teach you the right lessons you have to understand that I always had to remind myself when I when I went through things these people are blessings in the skies no matter how you feel wrong or whatever they taught you something you know and you're teaching them as well so I'm gonna allow y'all to see the cards so you can go ahead and see what's taking place Congrats, congrats, Leo. You know, this is this is good. You know, a lot of times it's hard for us to see even the reverse as in a positive, but they're showing you where the work needs to be met. And these are the things that, you know, um, that you deserve. You know, so you've been working your butt off. These are certain things that, you know, you have really been asking for. And the divine, you know, is, is in the cards for you. And they're saying that, you know, so to speak, it's in the cards. So congratulations on that. Leo, you know, just allow yourself to go on retreat, get out in nature, you know, uh, you know, uh, go through medit uh, meditation, you know, ask the universe for guidance or whatever it is, you know, they're there. You know, you always got, you always got people in your corner that's really wanting to help you and, you know, allow that in. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this this video. Um, if you ever want a private reading, please, you know, get in touch with me. My my um my contact information in the description box below. Much love to you. Peace.